Hey guys, it's the Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. Don't forget to also follow your girl on Instagram at the Real China Sister. So as you guys can see from the title of the video, I'm gonna be giving the fellas five reasons why your girl might not want to have sex with you. Um, I decided to do this video because I saw um a video of this couple talking last week, and some of the stuff that her husband said kind of upset me. Well, it didn't really upset me it just kind of made me feel some type of way because I couldn't even believe some of the blasphemy that was coming out of his mouth he was basically along the line saying that you know about him being pressured into marriage or whatever because it's what she wanted um being pressured into monogamy um then he basically goes on into a rant saying you know how women you know sometimes when we don't want to be bothered with a man or a nigga or whatever that we dealing with he basically said like if we don't want to deal with our man constantly being on us like you know or wanting us i guess sexually or in any kind of way why push monogamy why be in a monogamous relationship if you don't want your man constantly on you what bro what are you talking about man first of all fellas let me just say this um monogamy um a relationship with you and your girl just because y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend or just because y'all are married that doesn't mean sex whenever you want it. You know, both parties in the relationship go through shit. You know, just like there are days where y'all just want to sit there on the couch and watch sports all day and not be bothered and not tend to us. Um, there's going to be days where we don't feel like being sexually active with you. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons as to why your girl doesn't want to have sex with you. So the first reason I'm going to give the fellas as to why your girl doesn't want to have sex with you is that she's stressed, you know, or she has a lot going on. You know, she has a job that requires a lot out of her and that's stressful for her. You know, her boss or her co-workers are always on her nerves or, you know, y'all got kids together. She's washing the kids in the morning, getting the kids dressed in the morning. Um, helping the kids with their homework, you know, she's cooking at home, you know, if you guys are married, if you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, there are different things in a woman's life that can stress her out. So, you know, if she's not being sexually active with you, she could be stressed out, you know, especially in this economy and everything that's going on, you know, there's a lot to stress about for some people. Some women are trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do. So no, sex is not going to be the first thing on their mind if they're stressed out. The second reason I'm going to give the fellas as to why your girl doesn't want to have sex with you. Um, you know, fellas, I know sometimes y'all like to just run right in and get to the doing, but you know, sometimes women want to be romance. You know, sometimes women want rose petals and wine and soft music and massages. Like Sometimes women want the romance of it all. You know, I know y'all could just jump right in and wham, bam, thank you, man. And as long as y'all get yourselves off, y'all could lay over on the other side of the bed and just be good. But, you know, sometimes we want a little more than that, you know? Sometimes women want to feel special and not just feel like a sex doll. So maybe, you know, if she's not stressed, maybe y'all are missing the romance, you know? Cook her some dinner, you know, have some soft music. Ask her how her day has been. Rub her feet, you know? The third reason I'm going to give the fellas as to why your girl isn't having sex with you is, you know, maybe you pissed her off. Like, did you just do some hot shit that she can't stand? Because, you know, you know, just keeping it a buck and keeping it 100 with the fellas, you know, we ain't going to be wanting to bust it open, you know, if y'all acting stupid or y'all pissing us off. Like, did you just say some hot shit to her? Um, Did you not keep your promise on something that was important to her? Were you just not there for her in the time that she needed you? Like, there's a lot of reasons why your girl isn't being intimate with you. I want the fellas to know that intimacy, a lot of times for women, is way more deeper than just the physical and getting off. Like, it's an emotional thing. If I'm hurting or you did something that hurt my feelings, no, I'm not going to want to be open with you in that way. Of course, I'm gonna be closed off. So fellas, like, I know sometimes it's hard for y'all to keep track of the dumb shit y'all say and do, but think real hard and think, did I just do something to piss her off? Or did I forget an anniversary? Um, Did I forget her birthday? Like, really sit there and think about some shit. Instead of thinking with him down there, think with him up here. My fourth reason for the fellas that your girl isn't having sex with you, um, I'm gonna go with hygiene, you know? No one wants to smell sweaty, stank balls. And you know, 
Unfortunately, some of you men have still not learned how to properly wash your balls. And women are not going to put up with that. Nobody wants to stand by that constantly. So fellas, you know, I did, again, I did a video on this, on male hygiene. If you feel like something is going on with you, um, I'll have the link in my description box if y'all want to check that out on male hygiene. But yes, fellas, um, maybe she's not having sex with you because your balls are just not smelling right these days. So if you want to know how to get rid of stank balls, click the link in the description box and I tell you that. My fifth and final reason for the fellas as to why your girl isn't having sex with you is she just doesn't feel like it, you know? You no, know, sometimes women are just not in the mood. You know, just like fellas, I'm sure sometimes you guys are not in the mood. The one thing I don't understand about relationships and people today, you know, women are expected to be consistent, constant sex dolls from men. But there are times where, you know, I've seen where women want to get it on or they want to romance it up or do whatever. And y'all sitting there with y'all big feet eating corn chips, watching sports, or watching Netflix shows, and y'all not in the mood. You know, in that moment, y'all just feel like watching TV. Well, there are some times that we're not in the mood too. It's possible for a woman to just not be in the mood. You know, I think men should take more consideration for women's feelings and they should understand you know a lot more goes on with the female body than the male body you know we have our menstrual cycles you know we birth human beings um all kind of things emotionally our hormones like just be considerate of our feelings like isn't that one of the most major things about being in a relationship is being considerate of the other person's feelings and vice versa you know like there are gonna be times when a man doesn't feel like doing it you know and we have to be understanding of that so switch roles for a second and just be like, okay, you know, maybe she's not feeling like it right now. Maybe there's something going on with her. You know, now, fellas, if y'all are a sexually active couple and y'all haven't had sex in weeks, then that's something I would want to probably talk to her about and figure out what's going on. But, you know, sometimes women just really don't feel like doing it. But yeah, those are my five reasons for the fellas as to why your girl doesn't want to have sex with you. Um, again, relationships are a whole lot more than sex. It's a whole lot more than getting constant sex. You know, you have to be honest with each other. You have to both consider each other's feelings. Um, consider each other's schedules and what goes on with each other. You know, if one person is more busy than the other person, then of course that non-busy person is going to want sex all the time because they really don't got shit going on like that. I mean, I really don't even know what to call that, but I do believe in relationships that both parties should be understanding of each other's feelings before arguing about bullshit about constant sex like especially when you grown as fuck like you still pumped up like that my guy thank you for watching my video make sure you guys keep subscribing um i'm gonna have my male hygiene video in the description box and i'm also gonna have a signs you shouldn't have sex with her video that i did a couple of weeks ago because i think some of the fellas would be interested in that too um so i have that in the description box if anybody's interested in seeing that um make sure you guys like this video comment below and tell me what you guys think see you guys soon